Hello, and welcome to the first Cloudscape devlog. Cloudscape is a game I'm working on in Unity, and it's essentially like a combination of some of my favorite games with my own ideas thrown in. This video is just going to jump right into where I'm at with development so far, so I'll just be basically playing through my game and showing what's in it. In future videos, I'll go into a lot more detail on whatever it is that I'm working on at the moment. Uh, hopefully this video will just catch everybody up on what I've done so far. So this is the opening title screen for the game. It's still a super work in progress. Actually, the title art has already been changed. Um, I didn't update it yet in the game, but yeah, it looks a little different than this. So as a player, you get these different save slots to choose from. Uh, they're an early representation of what these will actually look like in the game. Uh, they're kind of rough right now, they, but they get the job done as to just show what exactly um, the save slot contains. So we're just going to go ahead and start a new game. And it's going to take a second to load. Uh, it does go black. This will be a loading screen eventually, but for now it's just a black screen. It's generating the entire player island right now, which is, takes about 15 seconds or so. Uh, and there we go. Um, this is actually going to start off with a uh, sort of cutscene, but for now that isn't in, so you can just kind of walk around uh, as the player. So in the cutscene, the player will go up and read this sign, but because it's not in there yet, I'm just going to go up here and read the sign for you, and we'll see that it's reading out this, this message. Um, so you can see the sign is like reading out the text, which I actually made for character dialogue. Uh, I was dumb and forgot to think about automatically displaying all of the text at once. So that's something I'll need to go back and uh, actually fix later on. Um, actually, I'll probably need to recode quite a bit of this message system, so that could be saved for a future devlog. Okay, so after reading the message, the player gets this alert uh, to equip some stuff. So I need to improve the alert icons up there. You can see in the top left corner of the UI. Uh, but for now they're placeholders, but they work, so that's good. Um, so we can go ahead and open up the inventory. And you can see the alert, um, there's these little uh, exclamation points that go away that just shows that that's a new item. Um, yeah, so we need to equip, uh, according to the task, we need to equip uh, the tools. And the way you do that is by um, pressing the cancel key right now, which is not ideal. Um, you can pick the items up and down. Uh, I actually plan to have this be switched to the action key, uh, but for now, this is just how it, it works. So we can go ahead and put these down into these equipment slots. You get 10 equipment slots. Uh, these two larger ones in the middle are your actual primary slots, which are bound to two different keys, which means you'll be able to use like two different tools immediately when you're playing the game instead of having to shuffle through different tools each time. You can also just like swap them around so this is with a primary tool key, this is the secondary tool key. Uh, we'll just leave it like that. Uh, so now we have a new task. It says gather materials. So right now uh, I'm supposed to gather resources, but the task list isn't in the game yet. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go do that. Uh, you can walk through tall grass. Um, there's a little glitch with the character's bandana. <laughs> uh, I'll have to fix that. Um, as you can see, like we can go up to a tree and we can use the tool key. And oddly enough, I'm using a hammer that um, will be replaced. Uh, the reason why there's a hammer right now is this is the first uh, sprite I designed for this. Um, it will be switched out with an axe, uh, but most of the effects here are in. You can see I can hit a tree and knock it over. Uh, you pick up items with the A key, and I decided against doing auto pickup for items because I honestly think that it takes away some of the interaction with the environment. Uh, if you just like walk around and just stuff automatically goes into your inventory, it kind of feels more like an arcade game. Uh, and I wanted to not have that feel. I wanted to feel like you could, you know, pick stuff up, move it around, uh, and throw it. Uh, <laughs> you can throw it, but the throwing right now looks really bad. So uh, I'm definitely gonna have to work on that. You can kind of play catch with yourself if you want. Uh, yeah. So you can throw object, objects interact with each other, but you know, they don't interact with you. So it's kind of nice because you're not like going to be stuck on objects and stuff. You can just walk over them. Uh, so we can put them away into our inventory by pressing the, the other key. And you can see we have new items, which are wood. Uh, we need to gather some more. So we're going to go ahead and gather. Uh, I think it's 20 wood we need for this first task. So 
So here I'm just gathering up 20 wood. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and hit the rocks and we have a pickaxe for that. And that actually has a graphic so you can see that happening. Um, there are sounds, but I've disabled them because they're kind of not great right now. Um, this is a piece of flint. You get that randomly when you hit rocks, so it's not every time. All right, so now we have the required resources and we get new tasks. Um, we have a craft a crafting table task. Um, so we have these two new resources like you'll, you won't see those uh, exclamation points again once you've actually found these items in the game it's like a one-time thing just to let you know that you have new stuff in your inventory uh, so we can toggle over to the crafting menu um, these are actually set up on like shoulder keys so for a controller these would be your shoulder buttons left and right these uh, toggle you through your menu um, in the in the on a keyboard it's just Q and W right now uh, so that's how that works out. There'll, there'll also be sp special um, keybinds for each one of these, so you can access uh, different things immediately from your keyboard. And there will be uh, controls for uh, the controller as well. So we can go to our crafting menu here and we can select the crafting table. It's the only recipe we have in here right now. Actually, we, yeah, we only have this crafting table recipe. It's the, the one we've earned. So we can go ahead and just hit the action key. And that opens up the actual craft panel. Uh, here you can read about the item that you're trying to craft. You can press left and right to change the quantity of item you want to craft, but obviously we don't have uh, 40 wood or whatever. Uh, you can see that it also um, requires energy. So some stuff that you craft is going to require energy, some stuff won't. Uh, this will actually require energy because you're doing it by hand. So uh, you can see the required tool is just a hand. <laughs> you don't need anything for that, but yeah, you'll have to meet all these requirements to craft an item. So we're going to go ahead and just craft. And you're going to see that looks really weird. Uh, it's because it's an animation that I don't have yet. Uh, but it'll be a hand crafting animation, kind of just like some kind of smoke plumes or something showing the character building something uh, but yeah you end up with this crafting table you can set it down it, it's just an item right now so what you need to do is just put it in your inventory uh, and then you can, whoop, you can put it in your inventory and then you can put it down here uh, you can toggle so like I didn't put it in the main primary tool slot but what you can do is you can toggle you can hold your shoulder button and press left and right and you can toggle through your tools here so it's a quick way to switch your primary tool out. So you can just switch to this. And now that we have this crafting table selected, we can go ahead and hit this button. Uh, this brings up an interesting little thing. This is like the structure tool for the game. Uh, so there's like different objects will be differently categorized. Uh, you have tools, obviously, which you, you know, you use like immediately on things like the ax, the pick and stuff like that. And then you also have these things which are structures. Uh, structures go into this mode where you can place them so you can move it all around you can see that when it's red you can't place that structure on top of other stuff uh, if it's green it means it's good to go you can place it down so we can go ahead and just place this wherever we want and it puts it down now you can interact with it uh, if we grab this it opens up the crafting table so before we were using the hand craft thing you can actually see that just go back to the crafting menu you can see there's a big hand up there uh, and it shows handcrafted. Uh, this means that you're currently looking at recipes for handcrafting and you're also in the handcrafting tool. If you go up to the table now, you're in the crafting table and you can actually craft stuff that you can craft at the crafting table. Obviously, I don't have any recipes, but um, yeah, so there's that. Anyway, that's kind of what I have in the game so far. Um, I can show farming, but I'll probably just do that, save that for another video. Um, we have these uh, skills, the skill system set up. Um, I don't actually have this stuff done, it's just blank. Uh, but this will show you like all of your uh, skill levels and how to level those up and like the progress you've made in each category. You can see we have like, these are all the current skills in the game. I have been working on combat recently. I guess I can show off a couple of things really quick. Um, I'll save farming for another video, but I can go ahead and just spawn a bunch of stuff here. I can pick up whatever. I don't mind. Uh, we can pick up this guy. All right. So we can go ahead and equip this stuff. And this stuff again is just like 
uh, structures. So we have crates we can just place down um, in the game. These crates actually don't do anything right now, but eventually they will uh, be able to store items for you. So you'll be able to open those up and put items in and take items out. Also, we have, oh yeah, the fence. So we can go ahead and add fence posts down. And you can see like as you add them, they kind of update. They're using bit masking. Uh, that's a weird bug that it's not letting me place it there. Uh, it's using bit masking, so you can just, uh, they, they kind of connect together as you use them. So you can make a fence. There's combat in the game, but I haven't actually finished it yet. Um, but you can see that I have a basic placeholder in for the slash attack for the sword. Um, you can see like he's basically not really animating. That's because I've only basically put the sword into the game and not the actual character animation for him. He's just taking like a step forward. But I actually, um, I'll save the combat for a future devlog because it's kind of a super rough work in progress right now. Um, and I'd like to just dedicate an entire video to the combat. Um, but for now, I've got a basic uh, slash attack in, and it's going at a pretty good speed. You can actually kind of cancel the animation slightly, which is a feature for the combat. That's all for what I have to show so far. If you enjoyed this video, or this game looks interesting to you, consider giving a like and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter, or join the Discord, or wishlist the game on Steam. I've included all those links in the description below. Uh, leave a comment, let me know what you thought of the game, or the video, or just any feedback or ideas you may have. Uh, I'd really appreciate it, so thanks for watching.